part like this, and I may never get to. Why am I going to give this to somebody else? I feel like if I can survive it, it could work out. And I got about two days into it, and I realized, oh, this A, this might kill me, and B, I feel like Howard. I felt so completely hurled out of an airplane with like a couple of napkins and some string to try to make a parachute, and it felt really raw and frightening and like that. You know, can I make a suggestion, Josh? You mean you are the you are the god of, of such Q and A's? But I was what, since the next piece kind of connects to this, and we want to have some time for for right questions. Let's go right into the next piece. This deal goes quickly south. Howard has suspicions as to whether it was a real deal at all or whether it was meant to just uh, the possibility of his kid getting it to lure a fictional Lohan brother back into the fold. Uh, so that goes very south and he turns around and um, Janice, played by Molly Shannon, and young Philip, played by the amazing Griffin Gluck, are gone. And that leads us to feel like every time you see this go by, you go, oh, that's what I would have really rather seen do that. <laughs> I don't, you know, it vacillated between a couple of different people, all more brilliant than I will ever be, but uh, it's not important, man. It's not important. <laughs> Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Sam Rockwell. It was really hurting my ego, and they said his name was Agent and he didn't have a last name, and I'd made a really firm thing with my agents, like, I won't play any more characters that don't have names. <laughs> not playing Driver. And, um, and then here comes this guy, Agent, but it was this amazing cast. And I loved Iron Man when I was a kid, and my wife, thank God for my wife on so many levels, was like, come on, you love it, just do it, so what? And I was like, you're right, okay. And then Marvel made me sign a three-picture deal. I was like, for four lines? <laughs> but they were still figuring it out, you know? They were like, <laughs> he's as awesome as he seems. I mean, I, I would look so forward to the days I would go there and get to act with him because his process is just different. I never know what that, what, even when he's saying the same lines, it's just suddenly, there's a guy playing Galaga, where was that? That wasn't in the script. And he's got, he's just, you're suddenly so present and so alive, just trying to respond to what he's doing that it brings out the best in me. And I found it to be, uh, tomorrow before work, I will catch Trust Me in that many morning show. And, uh, a few years ago, at the end, uh, near Comic Con of Matt uh, Marvel panel for Avengers, you sang a very interesting <laughs> Avengers theme song. Yeah! And I'm going to ask if you could please sing it here again. I don't remember it. <laughs> There's a guy named Chris Hardwood who I now have become friends with yeah. and really love. I'm standing backstage. It's the first clip of the Avengers is being shown at New York Comic Con. New York Comic Con is suddenly big, possibly because of that, and they're playing some really hard, thrashy metal. And I start making up a song. Um, we're the Avengers. We're a dysfunctional family. 